Okay, just quick introduction. Um, I've got a plaster on my finger. I'll put a little outtake video to show you the reason why there's a plaster on my finger, and you can have a look afterwards. These are the cards that I've been showing on my blog throughout the week, and what I'm going to show you today is the mechanism, the card base, in which to mount your stamps and things on to create the card. I'm not going to show you how I'm going to make the cards themselves, just the base. And if you want to take a closer look at some of these cards, they're actually on my blog. So the first thing you're going to need to do, and I should say now, I really apologise how crude this video is going to be because I'm not very good at video editing and I just want to get it up for you to see. So it's going to be involve a lot of post-it notes to show you the measurements and things. But the first thing you're going to need to do is to cut your card at eight and a half inches by five and a half inches and I'll pause so you can see each measurement as I go so eight and a half now this is the scoring blade and this is the cutting blade and if you see my outtake video I think I probably got to this point and I actually stopped when you take your cutting blade out don't do what I did and stick your finger on that little sharp bit that cuts because that's how I cut my finger. So just pull it apart and hold it like that. Don't touch it because it is very sharp. So at the moment you're not get the scoring blades okay because it's just flat. So pop in this blade. And these can be ordered from the Stamping Up catalog. So at eight and a half, by five and a half. make sure you keep the scraps because you can use them as part of the card okay the next thing you're going to need to do and actually I think it was this point take out your cutting blade without cutting yourself and then pop in your scoring blade you're going to need now need to score the piece of card at four and a quarter inches so four and a quarter you just need to run it down once pressing not too hard, you don't want to cut right through the cardstock. So once you've done that, you then need to position the card at three and a half inches, just up here, so it's three and a half lengthwise. You're going to need to take out your scoring blade because you're going to need your cutting blade again. Okay, so at three and a half, okay, three and a half inches. You're going to then need to cut from one and a quarter inches to six and a quarter inches. So don't run it up, press down when you're doing this, otherwise, you're going to have it in the wrong place. So position it at one and a quarter, because down the side of the, the ruler are measurements, so it's very easy. Down to six and a quarter. So make sure it's in position, and then just run it down to six and a quarter and that's all the cutting that's involved so then you take this back out I'm very nervous of it now <laughs> there we go and pop your scoring blade back in so the next thing that you need to do is you need to score at one and a quarter I'm going to turn your card stop this way now because you're going from here up to up to where the cut is so from there where the cut is here okay so at one and a quarter oh, let me put them up for you to see first so one and a quarter two and a quarter three and a quarter you've already scored it at four and a quarter at the beginning and then finally at six and a quarter so at one and a quarter We're going up to that cut and it's actually at two inches so you run it up to two inches so at two and a quarter unfortunately my tripod's in, all, in slightly in the way two and a quarter three and a quarter it's scored at four and a quarter already and then at six and a quarter basically that's that's it done then and all you then need to do 
I just move this out of the way. All you then need to do is almost concertina it. Like this. Oh, with a plaster on your finger. And then it's done. And then if you get your bone folder and make sure the creases are really neat. It just allows your car to close better because this will fit in a normal size C6, I think it's C6 envelope. Then all you need to do then is decorate it. So it's nice if you have a big panel at the back that will in matching in line. Make sure you don't position this bits any higher because it won't it will then stick above the envelope and it won't fit in. Okay, there's a tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.